Salut à tous, j'espère que vous allez bien. Aujourd'hui, je suis de sortie dans Paris. Je suis devant le cinéma Le Brady, ici. Et donc, je m'apprête à voir le documentaire Sonic Fantasy sur la réalisation de l'album Thriller. Vous voyez, il y a beaucoup de fans derrière moi. La salle est complète. Donc voilà, j'espère recueillir les avis à chaud à la sortie de la projection. Allez, c'est parti, on y va Quel a été le, le point de départ Ok, oui. Je vais être très court, mais je dois vous expliquer. Dans les années 90s, j'ai devenu un fan de Michael Jackson. Et vous savez, vous avez été là et j'ai tous les albums et j'aime lire qui a joué dans chaque album. Et j'ai toujours vu le nom, le nom était Bruce Dean. J'ai étudié la studies de la studie 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 de la Universal Studios um, when I was 22, 23. And one day I was in Universal Studios in one of the offices and I was getting the elevator to the place I worked and Bruce Sweden was in the elevator. That impressed me much. Um, I didn't say anything to him. We just shared the elevator. He went out. I never said a word to him and I went out in my floor. But I will never forget that. So, years later, I do my first film, and it's a big success in Spain, where I come from. And after that, I make a documentary called I Am Your Father. That is, uh, thank you, Christo. That is a, a big success worldwide. So Netflix says to me, the next documentary you want to do, please let us know, we want to, have your next documentary after I am your father. So the next thing I'm, I'm saying, okay, I, I have to do something about Michael, Bruce Wiedeen, um, you know, everything starts to, to line up. And then I go to Lil, Lil, yes. for uh, the, first M, the first MJ Music Day. And I'm there uh, as a fan. And then suddenly a man comes out called Garrett, And he plays a documentary uh, called The Man Behind the Sound about Bruce Wiedeen. So um, I'm sitting there watching the documentary. The, docu the documentary is okay, but it's, um, Gareth, the director, is a good friend of mine. Huh? Uh, but it's, it's, he doesn't have the team that I have. So it's okay. That it's a 50-minute documentary. It's okay. But my, my head goes click. I have to do the Bruce Wiedeen document. This is a lot of science. I have to do this. So the film finishes. I go to Gareth. I present myself. And I say, Gareth, you have to introduce me to Bruce Wiedeen because I'm going to make a documentary about him. So Gareth introduced me to Bruce Wiedeen. And that's how the story began. And that's why we are here. fantasy to you. Um, you are one of the first people to see the film, so thank you very much. Um, and it's because of the, the association, so thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Uh, thank you. I have the pleasure to have Marcos Cabota in my room. 
Hello, Marcos. Hello, how nice is to it, meet you? Ah, very nice. I'm, I'm very happy to have you here in I, my room. I am more happy to be in your room than you are happy of me having here. You ah, know, this is this is amazing. You're uh, nice. Uh, um, I told you, Hector, I've never seen a collection like this, and I am I'm being now my the Marcos when I was 15, 16, 17 years old that he was a crazy Michael Jackson collector, and this is wow. Nice. This is like uh, heaven. Uh, I'm happy. So, I'm no, happy. No, no, but uh, it's it's nice to to be able to share the patient share. with all the fans. And you know, I'm a, I'm a I'm a huge fan of you and your videos, and oh. your, your collection. <laughs> so when I saw you yesterday, you came to mm. to the premiere. Uh, I saw you. I know perfectly who you are. I I was like praying, please. Tell, invite me to your house and, ah, and, and you did so there thank, is a god you know so, yeah, you there's came, a god. You so thank you very much thank you very so, much so yes about yesterday the premiere because i was about to film some reaction at the end but it was raining it was the nightmare in paris so yes. i can't but yes. i can tell you that the reaction was really nice mm -hmm. everybody was happy with that documentary yes it's a new approach i think can you tell us more about that? Yes, I, I wanted to, to approach, um, I wanted to make this documentary not only for Michael Jackson fans, but only for people that were not Michael Jackson fans. So there's, I always say, I love Spike Lee, I love the Bad 25 documentary, I love Of The World documentaries, but it's their type of documentaries that you can only watch by yourself or with Michael Jackson fans. Yeah. So I tried to make this documentary that tells a story about Michael, about Bruce Sudin, about the creation of the, the, in, in the studio. But you could also watch with someone that was not a Michael Jackson fan. Not only watch it, but feel it, sense it, love it. And that was Im very important for me because yesterday we had 98% of the cinema was Michael Jackson fans. Yeah. But I did appreciate that the, uh, the other 2%, the, the people that weren't Michael Jackson fans, they came to me and they said, we love the movie, we cried, we laughed. And, and that was my approach. I wanted to do that. I wanted to do like the bigger picture. Yes, it because was I think Michael, Michael and his work, obviously it's universal. It's not property of Michael Jackson fans. I think it's everyone should be able to watch it and mm. understand it. Yeah. And a good point of your documentary is that, that we understand the, the world uh, during the making of Thriller, you know, the, the world, what, what's going on exactly. around. And it's, it's nice to know that because us, we, we were not in America, yes. so we were not aware about that. Exactly. And it's, it's uh, nice to understand all the mechanism, you know, yes. between the industry and Yes, to understand the greatness of Thriller, you need to understand the situation that they were living at that time. And, and if you understand that, that there was the biggest music crisis ever, much more bigger than the internet one, it was, it was, it was the worst. And, and that they needed an album that you know, brought back people back to the, to the, record, to the um, music stores. Mm -hmm. And you you understand the greatness of the album and the work that they did in the studio. Yeah. So yeah, they it's save, important. They save everything. Yeah, so they, they save the music. It's not yeah. a legend. It's real. Exactly. Yeah. They yeah. save they they save the music industry. Michael Jackson, Quincy Jones, Bruce Sudin, and all the people who worked on that album. They mm. sa they save the music industry. And this is something that it needs to be clear in in history. So this is one of the points why I made the film because it had to be clear. You know, they did that. Okay, nice, nice. So in the future, when we will be about to see your documentary, because it yes. takes a long time, I know, to produce this and to and to yes. spare it exactly. around the, the world. Yeah. So now we're, during this year, this 2022, we're um, going to film festivals. We've, we've been invited to a lot of film festivals. We have a good reaction from film festivals. And probably uh, 2023, the film will be available on a very very famous platform i can say and the, the one yet because it's not signed yeah, but but it, it will be everyone worldwide to watch it and and maybe 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 we'll because we don't do blu-rays and dvds anymore in the industry because now everything is in platform but you know you will understand as a collector i I'm, i will insist that they make a blu-ray yes, version yes, yes. at it's least because really nice. we even if we don't watch it but we have it yeah, physically. Yeah. It's something that I, I, I'll try to, it's done. But this will be at the beginning of next year. This year it will only be in film festivals, but we're going all around the world. So, so they, you know, people who want to see the film this year, 
just check just check my account or the official Sonic Fantasy account and there will be news shortly about what, where, where is the next okay, part nice. of the world we're going. So we will follow your page and uh, oh, thank you. we will take it, uh, thank stay you. connected to see uh, what's going on yeah, after. Thank you. Thank okay, you. thank you very much for thank the you. little interview. Thank you very much for inviting me here. It's an honor. It and, and thank you to, to the association of the line that brought me to Paris. And um, um, I, can, I don't want to leave this room, so uh, you can may, stay. You can may, stay. You can, you can leave and I stay here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, I, I can be your guard, <laughs> and I will not. I would. I, I can stay here all day. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. bye.